Hey everyone, this is Mayur. Welcome back to ML Works. In this video, we'll be walking you through an LLM observability framework called as Arise Phoenix. Phoenix is one of the library which is provided by an enterprise called as Arise which works on building ML, uh, which is a platform for machine learning or machine learning operations. Now this particular framework, what it does is uh, it keeps track of or monitors your LLM. Uh, when you chat with an LLM, it keeps track of all those information that goes in and goes out. Okay, the response, the prompt, and the, you can also integrate the evaluation for your uh, results that are generated by the LLM all those can be done with this particular framework So there are a bunch of uh, libraries that needs to be installed to work with um, uh, Arise Phoenix Only one more uh, library is Arise Phoenix you have to install and there are internal dependencies of Arise Phoenix with other uh, libraries called as Langchain or Llama Index and then scikit-learn Okay and what we'll do here is we'll install all these packages. So I have already installed all these packages, Arise Phoenix and scikit-learn, upgraded to scikit-learn, which is a dependency of Arise Phoenix. And then Langchain, Transformers, which for hugging face models, and then Torch, which is a dependency for Transformers again. Pydantic, which is again a fast APIs uh, dependency. And then we have typing inspect all the other dependencies we are installing. And the important part is this one Cohere. Uh, instead of OpenAI, we are using Cohere, and which is also an uh, uh, yeah, machine learning LLM based platform, okay, which provides you access to large language models or foundational models. And then we install something called as Wikipedia, which is again a retriever for uh, getting the content from Wikipedia, okay. Now what we'll do is after installation, we are importing the packages. The first thing is we import the Phoenix, then Langchain, Transformer, and then we have to, since I'm running it locally, okay, we have to uh, initialize the Langchain instrumenter as well. Then we are importing the Cohere, and there are some environment variables which have been set, which is the key for Cohere to access the Cohere platform. And then we have Cohere Rag Retriever, Wikipedia Retriever, which will be helping us to connect with Wikipedia. And then we have Chat Cohere, which will utilize the chat model of Cohere uh, platform. Okay, and we also have Pandas. Okay, so let me run this particular cell. So after that, what we do is we load the env file, which contains our key for Cohere. Okay. So once that is done, uh, let me load the key. So this is uh, one way, this is a client you can create in your locally to access or to play with Cohere chat models. Okay, you can do that using this Cohere.client. You have to pass the key API key which you have created. Now the important part here is we are talking about a Phoenix platform or a framework which will help us to do the observability on your language models, large language models. So for that, since we have imported Phoenix as PX, you can create a local session PX.launch app. So when you do that, you will see there is a Phoenix app in your browser on the local host 6006. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll go here and I'll just run this. So you will see this particular platform or this particular dashboard containing all the columns which will be representing your uh, chat input to your particular model so let me go back here so as i said you have to ins first initialize the instrumenter so we do it here so once that is done we'll be sending the traces okay of our chat model to phoenix so for that what we can do is we'll first import langchain uh, hugging face pipeline from langchain llms Okay, so here I have from langchain.llms import hugging face pipeline and the model I'm going to use is 560 million bloom model and I'm trying to use a very uh, simple model because this is not related to what how well the LLM works that it is not about that so it is more about observability of how you can notice your chat input and output on your uh, Phoenix dashboard. So with that, what I'll do is I'll just uh, import this particular model as well. So I'll give the model what is the task that it needs to do and what is the parameters like max new token that is 64 
and the device map if it is want to use a GPU or CPU all those things okay we just initialize those things here and then what we do is we create a prompt so if you see here from langchain.prompts we get create a prompt template this prompt template will have a question and an answer and then we'll create our prompt so this is where we are creating the prompt okay and then we are chaining the prompt with the model okay so you have your model hugging face model then you have your prompt you are chaining them together then what you do is you ask a question to your chain which you have created okay in this case chain dot invoke question dot question that is the question this is the question okay you should ensure this thing is matching with this one okay because it will look for otherwise it will throw an error okay, so this should this key should match here in the template so my question is who is obama and i am just invoking this particular chain it will give me the president of the united states so once again i am telling you say this is not about how well the answer is coming up it is more about llm observability so since we have already used it okay let me go to that particular dashboard so if you see here there is a trace where you can see a chain is there uh, and there is a prompt template if you click okay something went wrong okay let me go back okay it's coming up now yeah runnable sequence prompt template hugging face pipeline you can see evaluation attributes and events this is just a simple uh, what a trace of your llm uh, input and output there are a bunch of things okay if you see in the spam spans okay you will see kind as llm and then it is a chain combination of a template and a hugging face model so all these can be uh, viewed here prompt template what was the prompt template that was given so uh, if you see here this was the input and then we get this was the template that was given at the end of the day it was sent to the model and we got an answer based on that now this is quite simple okay, what we'll do next is we have a rack simple rack created using cohere and then we'll see how it looks in the phoenix uh, dashboard as well next we'll go into the rack part so here what we have is a user query okay this is the query that what is cohere and we have a chat model in cohere okay, so we are importing the chat cohere here and passing the key and then we have we are creating initializing a rag retriever of cohere so we have a rag and then we are just passing the model here and then we are creating a retriever so our retriever is wikipedia in this case it will scroll through the documents in wikipedia and then what we do is uh, based on the query we gen uh, get the documents relevant documents from that wikipedia through wiki retriever now once that is done what we do is we apply the rag model okay rag model in a sense cohere chat model on top of the uh, wiki docs that were retrieved from the wikipedia so if you see here get relevant documents user query and this is wiki docs which is the relevant documents picked from the wikipedia and then we apply this particular cohere chat model on top of it so on running this let's it will take few seconds in this case okay let's see mm. so once this is done what we do is we'll get a bunch of documents okay and we'll get a corresponding metadata and page content and then we'll look at uh, these uh, other uh, aspects of this particular uh, retrieval what we have done it took around 20 seconds okay, so here if you see there is a document one okay which is the snippet and it talks about the person who created this particular platform let me just scroll through so he's a co-founder and ceo of the technology company cohere and uh, he talks about his early what he is what he has done all those things his early life and all those stuff and what is cohere in this case so this is uh, the whole uh, rack thing that has worked on using wikipedia retriever and the corresponding dashboard okay we'll see in the dashboard okay we have a retriever here okay let me just this is a chat go here and then if i click that you will see again the prompts and the inputs okay what is the output message we got so the total output so all these things information is available here 
field of higher intelligence and enterprise focused so this is one part of what uh, phoenix dashboard where you are able to see uh, the way uh, the platform works right whenever you chat with an llm or it could be anything actually it could be what an open ai model azure open ai model or any other platform right anthropic anything okay it will can come up on your screen in phoenix dashboard now there are certain things that i am yet to explore on this one which is uh, evaluation metrics so in that case what will happen is uh, you will have a model like foundational model like gpt4 okay that particular model will act as a uh, evaluation evaluating model okay if you have done some prediction on some particular data set and that data sets uh, prediction results can be uh, evaluated using a gpt4 model okay that's how evaluation comes into picture in phoenix okay you can go into the documentation in uh, phoenix platform okay you will understand that better i have tried it out in my uh, workplace and you can try it out because since i don't have a uh, license for open ai so i'm not able to do that here yeah you can go and try it out that as well yeah so with that i'll just conclude this video thank you so much